What is going on guys, DBG here. In this video, we are going to be talking about the new buzzer beater cards in NBA 2K20, my team. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We are just over 15,000 away from hitting 200,000 subscribers, which would be absolutely insane. And also, all I'm going to say is, lads, no longer is MTDB, does MTDB reign supreme. We had initially the era of 2K MT Central back in the 17 and 18 days, where no matter what, they were the first people to get cards out. Then, we had the MTDB era. Now, we have the Kenny McK69 from 2K Gamer era. This guy right here has the stats and sigs of every single card out way, way before any of the websites. So, I'm telling you guys right now, the 2K Gamer forums, 2kgamer.com, that is the place to go if you guys want to see stats, sigs, and stuff like that. And also for these cards, if you want to see almost a breakdown of what the stats are, because a lot of the times this guy does release them in forums. So there will be forums talking about what the stats are. Again, I'm not being paid to say this. I just use these forums so, so often. And a big, big shout out to Kenny McKay as well. So these are the four new cards we've got. So we got Nerlens Noel, Dale Ellis, Antoine Jameson, and Jason Tatum. So normally I would say like buzzer beater diamonds and pink diamonds normally end up being quite expensive. But the thing is, is that Jason Tatum and Antoine Jameson are definitely going to be sought after cards. So I think that these cards right here are going to be um, definitely cards you will want. So I think the cheaper card, these guys might be quite cheap. So let's start off with the stats and badges for this card right here. This is Nerlens Noel. So badges that you can see, Relentless Finisher, Needle Threader, and Worm. So Nerlens Noel has got a 75 open shot three. He's got a 25 shot IQ, which is good. He has got a 90 standing dunk, 85 driving dunk, has got a 77 post fade, good speed, with ball, really good speed with ball of 80, wow. That is very, very nice. And he can speed boost, basically. So if you if you have Terry Stotts and Floor General, he can speed boost. So he's like, he's going to light, he may be a point center. He may be a point center, depending on what the dribble six are. Got 86 speed, 84 acceleration is really, really good. Also got really solid lateral quickness of 88 for a, I think he's a seven foot tall center. Has got 85 or 93 rebounding, 85 defense and 60, 93 block. So if this guy's cheap, he's going to be really good, especially because he's got the Hoff Intimidator badge. And he's basically, he's got Acrobat, a finisher, drop stepper, got quick draw, no range, unfortunately. But again, for a budget guy, I think he might end up being like a better Bagley. But defensively, he's got every single defensive badge. I don't know what I did just there. Um... I clicked on the wrong thing. He's got every single defensive badge except for pick dodger. Or sorry, except for pickpocket. He's got every single one of them, at least gold. So again, he has got really, really good badges right there. Sorry again about the uh, the lack of like aspect ratio, but like it is a little it's a little more difficult than running on MTDB, to be completely honest. So his jump shot, jump shot 10, release 23. I don't know what jump shot 10 is. Also with half quick draw. So he's got basic moving cross arm over. So he's not really, I don't think he's really going to be too much of a dribble guard, to be completely honest, as a point guard position. So let's have a look at jump shot 10. Jump shot 10, so base 10. So it's Penny Hardaway base. Okay, so Penny, ha Penny Hardaway, Bill Russell. Okay, I'm not going to say that that's the best release in the world, but it's not awful. Like, it's not absolutely awful in catch and shoot. So I think. Um, Nerez Noel is going to be a solid, like, budget player, but I don't think he'll be spectacular. Dale Ellis, honestly, looks very similar to another card we have. So, um, he's got a 98 open shot three. He's got not a lot of defensive badges, to be honest. To be fair, actually, he's got none of the inside defensive badges. He's got Clamps, Intimidator, Pick Dodger, Hall of Fame, which is which are the best ones to have. Also has got a driving dunk of 80, which is not ideal. So, again, you need... Floor general and a certain coach to get that above 85 to get contacts. He's going to be a really nice shooter, though. He is going to be a really nice shooter. 90 perimeter defense well, 94 lateral quickness. In terms of defense or in terms of shooting, he's got range. He's got quick draw. He doesn't have steady, thank God. Doesn't have deep fades, though. Got good rebounding stats. Going to the basket again. He's going to attack the basket well, although he's not going to be really... Um, he's not really going to be great on the inside at all. And he, to be fair, though, and as we expect, he's a perimeter player and he's not one of the Opals with juice to everything. So I'm, I'm explaining why I think he's a very similar card right now. If you look at his release, he's got Ray Allen and Kobe Bryant. And if you guys don't know, that is literally Paul Westfall. So 
He's got Pro 2 moving cross, Pro 2 behind the back, Pro 2 spin, Pro 2 moving hezzy, and the normal one size up, which isn't the normal one size up is not great. It is not great at all. He is very, very similar. Very, very similar to Paul Westwell. Except he can't play point guard. He's gonna he's six foot five. He's gonna be really good. Don't get me wrong. That Ray Allen base Kobe upper is still gonna be nice, but this is literally this is Paul Westwell. I need I'm gonna actually have a look at the SIGs for Paul Westwell to see if they're the exact same. So Paul Westwell has got Ray Allen an upper release. Oh, I thought Paul Westwell was Ray Allen Kobe. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. But um well, not maybe I'm wrong. I'm 100% wrong. Except he's actually got a better size up. And a better behind the back. Yeah, he's he's Paul Westfall worse six. <laughs> he's actually, he's a worse Paul Westfall. I thought he was the exact same as Paul Westfall. He's actually, just the, Dela is just the worst Paul Westfall. But now we are on to the cards that you guys really care about. Antoine Jameson and Jason Tatum. So Antoine Jameson right here is, let's have a look at these stats. Has got a 96 open shot three, a 90 free throw. 93 speed, 93 acceleration. He's got 94 strength, 98 stamina. Got 90 interior defense, 90 perimeter defense, which is good. Has got great post game. He's got a fantastic post game, actually. Good ball handling. Has got 93 speed and acceleration. Has got 96 rebounding. Badges wise, he's got. By the looks of things, he's got almost everything you can ask for. Just realized that some of them have been cut off. So. We'll zoom out a little bit there. So he has got... Let's have a look. He's got back down punisher, consistent finisher, cross key score, drop stepper, fancy footwork, giant slayer, lob city finisher. Got basically all the shooting was you need. Got no steady though. Doesn't have stop and go, which is not ideal to be honest. And no, at this stage, everyone, most people have floor general, so that doesn't really matter. Defensive badges has everyone at least gold. No, uh... I don't know, he's all the important ones, Hall of Fame as well. So yeah, he's going to be, stats-wise, he's quite good. Check out the six for him. So he's got Aldridge Mellow upper. So LaMarcus Aldridge base again, base 11, same thing. He has got, I think someone was telling me that with these ones, it's like long athletic or something for like his hop step. I don't know what exactly that one is, because I think people were saying about Wilson Chandler as well, that they've got like the same hop step as Giannis, but I, I don't know. I really don't know. So he's got a Pro 1 size up, which I don't think is great. Pro 3 cross, which I don't think is great either. Um, Pro 3 has he, though, supposedly is great. So he's just going to be another one of those Antoine James, not Antoine Jameson, he's just going to be another one of those AK-47 slash Lamar Odom slash Hito Turkaloos, just like he was last year, and slash Dave Cannons. He's going to be really nice, though. Like he's gonna be really nice, but I don't see uh, him being anything significantly better than like an Antoine or than a Andre Karolinko, to be honest. Now we have got Jason Tatum. Okay, I'll zoom out all the way. So Jason Tatum has got a 96 three-point shot. He's got 97 shot close, 98 shot mid. He has got 80, 80 post moves, 80 post hook, 88 post fadeaway. A great speed with ball, great speed and acceleration as well. He has got great perimeter defense, great auto quickness to 95, and a 92 steal and 80 block, which is quite good. Badges wise, he doesn't have like box brick wall moving drop rim protector or worm, which doesn't matter too much. I don't know exactly what's his sorry, what's his secondary position? Oh, it's two guard. That's big. That's big. He's got range extender, quick draw, hall of fame. And there is something that's very, very noticeable, or that's very, very big, which I'll talk about a little bit later. But he's got he's got every vital badge, to be honest. And now we're on to the six. Jason Tatum has got base 107 again, which is Trey Young, Tyler Hero slash Kevin Herter release. Basically, he had it on his, he had it on his undercards, he had it on his amethyst, and they took it away for his diamond and pink diamonds, and they gave him base 107 back. Thankfully, especially now that the hitch slash shot meter delay is taken out, that's an insane. Pro four size up, I'm pretty sure is the best size up in the game. Pro three cross behind the back, moving spin. I know the Hezzy and the size up are really good. I don't know much about um, the, the cross behind the back and moving spin, but I'm telling you right now that this Tatum card is going to be really, really good. So anyway, that is the video. These are the new cards in NBA 2K20, my team. So 
I don't necessarily know about Nerlens Noel. I think he's probably going to be like a a kind of more updated version of Bagley if he's cheap. But I don't think he's going to be better than Zhuqi as far as budget centers go. I still think Zhuqi is... I actually would like him. I think he's one of the best centers in the game because I don't miss with him. Um, Dale Ellis is a worse Paul Westfall. And yeah, people are still going to use him. And people are still going to be effective with him. But like he's a, a worse Paul Westfall slash better Diamond Ray Allen. I don't know. Antoine Jameson's just another one of those um, AK slash Odom players. Again, it'll be all preference who's the best. And Jason Tatum's a really, really good card. Anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.